Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Neeraj Academy. So guys, from our previous videos, we have been learning about the AC motors and the DC motors. And now guys, in this particular video, we are going to distinguish between this AC and DC motors. Like the function of these both two motors is the same to convert the electrical energy into the rotary mechanical movement, and that is ultimately used to drive our cars and to carry out the any kind of the machining process, or else. Uh, to carry out any kind of the mechanism so that is the ultimate function of this both the ac and the dc motors but if we try to distinguish between this ac and the dc motors there are several factors on the basis of which we can distinguish between this ac and dc motors so guys in this particular video we are going to distinguish between this ac and dc motors so guys so friends if you are new over here on my educational channel in genius academy kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new technological related video you will get instant notification so without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic well the first point over here is nothing but the type of the power supply which is used in case of the ac motor the alternating current is used whereas in case of the dc the direct current is used the direct current meant to say a fixed voltage like the 5 volts 10 volts so that is a fixed voltage which is used in the dc motors whereas in the ac motor ac induction motor that is suitable for the varying voltages such as the frequency of the alternating current keeps on changing so in this case we can go for the ac motor where the varying voltage is there so that is nothing but the type of power supply when if we look at the constructional features the dc motors are equipped with this carbon brushes along with the commutator rings so this particular commutator rings which are there on the rotor and the carbon brushes is connected so the power supply the current will flow through the carbon brushes into the commutator ring and ultimately it will go into the windings in case of the dc motors whereas over here in the ac motor the construction is very much simple the power supply will be through the stator windings over here and not by from the rotor so over here the less number of contact parts which is used in the ac motor and in the case of dc motor the more contact parts it is used so if the contact parts are more in dc motor so that's why the frequent maintenance is required in case of dc motor however the ac motors does not require the frequent maintenance the cost of repairing is on a higher side in case of the dc motor whereas the cost of repairing is very much less because like the chances of breakdown are very much less in case of this ac motor the type of rotation like the rotor rotates over here in this uh, dc motor whereas the rotor rotates just because of the electromagnetic induction just because of the rotating magnetic field which is gets produced over here in a case of ac motor in case of the dc motor the rotor is itself connected like the winding and that particular winding is connected to the power source so this is nothing but the uh, like the constructional features of the ac and the dc motor the difference in the construction when we look at the speed control between this dc and ac motor like if we want to vary the speed in case of the dc motor we need to vary the current which is flowing through the uh, armature coil whereas in case of the ac motor we if we need to uh, like the alter the if we need to regulate the speed we can go for the vfd variable frequency drive we can do this by using by altering the frequency of the alternating current which is ultimately going to pass through the stator windings so by alternating the current it means by using the variable frequency drive we can vary the speed of the ac motor when we talk about the life expectancy of both the motors this particular dc motors will be having the less life span whereas in case of the ac motor it it is usually having the higher life expectancy than that of the dc motors if we talk about the number of phases this dc motors always operates on a single phase whereas the ac motors can run on the single phase as well as the three phase connection over your friends the if we talk about the noise level in both the motors like the dc motor will produce the more noise as compared to the ac motors 
over here in the case of the dc motors we require the carbon brush as well as the commutative ring so over here the more moving parts more contact parts are added in the dc motor so that's why the manufacturing cost goes on the higher side for the same size if we compare the same size ac and dc motor the cost of the dc motor will be on the higher side than that of the ac motor as it added the more moving contact parts in case of the ac induction motor there are no contact parts there are no carbon brushes there are no commutative rings as well as if we talk about the operation and the application of both of these two motors like this dc motors are especially suitable for the constant voltages where the fixed voltage is there like for the lathe machines drilling machines conveyor belts uh, like pharma equipments fans blowers so in this case we can go for the dc motors as it works on a fixed constant voltage whereas in case of the ac motor like it is especially suitable for the heavy machinery equipments and in the industrial use like for the lifts cranes compressors the air conditioning equipments heaters transportation equipments railways traction mechanisms also in some of the electrical vehicles so these ac motors uh, like it is having a variety of application but it requires the variable it is suitable for the variable ac variable alternating current which is not having a fixed voltage the voltage keep on changing over here so this is the reason it is suitable for the vfd variable frequency drive we can alter the frequency so that we can alter the rotational speed of this ac motor when we talk about the starting torque the torque it means the energy or as the force which is required to drive the shaft so over here the this particular dc uh, it will having the higher starting torque as compared to the ac ac will be having the low starting torque and this dc motors are suitable for the precise and the stable operations so friends that was nothing but the difference between the ac and dc motor the main function is the same that is that is to convert the electrical energy into the rotary mechanical movement so that it can drive the shaft pulleys and different mechanisms as per our requirement so friends i hope you understood the difference between the alternating and direct current motors so thank you so much for watching this educational video if you having any queries any doubts please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel jinas academy and friends please do not forget to help me on patreon.com so that i can continue with my educational service so thank you so much guys for watching this educational video